<laughs> Perfect. <laughs> this is this is appropriate. I'm going to turn I'm going to turn chat chat off <laughs> cuz we're spamming the chat. Oh, it's fine. I'm sure they don't mind. Just a snowball duel. Ha! Ah, I'm gonna get you. Oops. <laughs> Good job, Romy. You killed her. The koala. I didn't throw that. The koala's just sitting there, like, uh, well, she's dead. What I does now? For the record, I did not throw that. You did. I didn't hit her though. If you look. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> hit her. I did it. She's just playing dead. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> See, I told I you. you. Crossed your arms right when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you getting people? Yes, I've been standing here throwing snowballs at people this whole time. Oh. I wait for them to run past and I just I chuck snowballs So out. rude. I started a snowball fight and you <laughs> missed it. Alright, well, let's see. Um, shall we go ahead and start this thing? Yeah. Oh, wow, that guy is very orange. That's the guy I was having a snowball oh. fight with. He was chasing me around. Hello, um, Garan Garanji? Garanji. I don't know how to pronounce these names. The what? Theodrithanium? What? Uh, this person earned an, an achievement, Theod Grithanium. Theod... What? Oh, I know what it is. It's for the, it's for the event. Okay. Not so selling night. Um, Granji has need of a little helper, and who is more helpful than you? Well, considering our, uh, our past, not, not a whole lot. Jackson, how wonderful to see you. I just knew you'd be joining us again this year. We have lots of surprises in store, especially for the little ones. The Starlight Celebration wouldn't be complete without the beaming smiles of all those darling children. One of said surprises will involve a tradition from the frozen climes of Ishgard. A little snow makes the world glisten and sparkle, but too much can be ever so dangerous, as the Ishgardians know all too well. That is why the adults offer song to the Saint of Nemea, so that he may keep the blizzards at bay. Yes, the blizzards with their terrible wows coming after the Final Fantasy XIVs. While the weather here in Gridania is nowhere near as inclement as that, a festive song like that would make the proceedings even more memorable. And when the singing is over, we'll give each child in the audience a present. Aww. Uh, I'm a, uh, luckily, several local businesses have agreed to fund all this merrymaking. Are you familiar with... Mm, my Santa? Of black oh, rabbit black traders rabbit? by any chance? She has been particularly eager to lend us a hand. I have not said these names out loud ever. <laughs> <laughs> From the decorations to the costumes, there is scarcely an aspect of the celebrations in which she hasn't been involved. I think we know where we're going. In fact, she has even agreed to arrange musicians who will be singing here at Miketo's Amphitheater. I haven't seen her for a while and I worry that she may have encountered complications. Now I'm sure there's nothing to worry about, but I would be ever so grateful if you could speak with her. Perhaps politely remind her that the success of the Starlight Celebration hangs in the balance. I'm dreadfully sorry to impose on you like this, but you are the Warrior of Light and you must do all these fetch quests. Um, can you do me this one teensy favor? I got you. You're gonna give me stuff anyway, aren't you? Alright, off to the Aetherite Plaza. I like how she said, we're up to our baubles. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Not their eyes, but their baubles. Wait. Isn't it up to your ears? Isn't that what the phrase usually up, is? Where are you going? Up to your face. I think it's this way. Ah. I took a shortcut, and I got there first. No, 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 kitty. No, I know what you're thinking. Please don't do that. No, please. Please don't <laughs> do that. Please don't. No! <laughs> Come here. Come here. I'm so sorry. He's curling up on the mouse pad for, for reference. I know. I think it's my Senta, by the way. My Senta! My Santa. It doesn't have a good ring. <laughs> Jackson, how lovely to see you. And might I say, you seldom does. I'm, I'm sure you guys are like, Jackson, who's that dude? <laughs> uh, seldom does a day go by that I do not think of the way you saved my precious homunculi from the Barrett Trading Company. Yeah, we did some stuff. What, when was what? that? <laughs> I was gonna say, what a monkey! Was that like, was that like a level thirty-five quest or something insanely long ago? No idea. No. I don't remember. It's been five years. Oh, no, it's never my intention to keep um G waiting. I will happily explain everything as soon as we take this conversation somewhere a little more private. But I suggest this good secluded area by the Leather Workers Guild. Um, they know me <laughs> really well over there, though. <laughs> Uh, where is that? Yeah, they don't know us. Yeah, that's over by the the uh, uh, Lancers, right? I believe it actually has its own. Oh, my it. bad. Duh, it's over on the other side <laughs> of the theater. Because <laughs> oh, I always use that to get to the um, the um, the market. Why do you have a quest for me? It doesn't have a quest for me. I don't know what you're talking about. No, oh, I have a level 70 quest I never did. <laughs> well, that's a thing. Mental note to do that later. Okay. Is it outside? I don't know where it is. I'm lost. It's back up in the actual guild. Oh. There's like the little, um, yeah. I'm not a leather worker. I don't know. I mean, technically I am, but I don't ever come here. You're, you're a terrible member of the guild. Yeah. Um, hello. Oh yeah, these guys. Well, thank you for agreeing to meet me here. I'm in good terms with Guildmaster Geva, 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 and she lets me use the space for. Well, that's a story for another time, or perhaps never. Naturally, a quiet spot like this is ideal for avoiding unwanted attention. While the guard, who has been asked to turn a blind eye, is an effective deterrent to any would-be eavesdroppers. My Senta is very scary. Like she's. Borderline, what's her face? From Revenant's Toll before. Rowena. Rowena, she's very Rowena. I don't remember these guys at all. I have no idea who these guys are. She's talking to me like I know who they are, and I have no idea. I vaguely recalled them, but that's about as far as I go. I, I would have thought that I would remember the leopard print line jacket. <laughs> Uh, we'll look it up afterwards. I'm sure we'll know. Um, as I'm sure you know, the Hunkuli cause a stir where they go, and I need them focused on the task at hand. The strangers think that without your intervention all those moons ago, it would escape my cl- Um, <clears throat> would have been lost to me forever. And here we are, reunited. You will no doubt be pleased to hear that since the last time you saw them, my honey-tongued musical geniuses have been touring the breadth of the realm. Naturally, Black Rabbit traders continue to enjoy a profitable relationship with Eorzea's most beloved traveling bards. Okay. I like that the blue one's really chill. Like, whatever. 
They're basically the songbirds. Yeah, it does sound that yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> they might have been the one before the songbirds. With a different event? I don't know. Songbirds started with Little Ladies Day. These guys weren't involved in Little Ladies Day at any point. Yeah, I reckon, like, I... <sighs> I recognize their look, but I can't tell you where from. Of course, I want to have this conversation interrupted by legions of squealing followers, hence her current venue. As their role, uh, rather, as for their role in the Starlight Celebration, I jumped to the chance to have them take center of the stage. Admirers were flocked from moms around for the chance to see mon homunculi light in their new, specially prepared material. I can picture it now. The, oh gosh. The dulcet tones of my beautiful bards filling the ears of festival goers, young and old, with black rabbit traders making gill hand over fist from all the garments we sell. What's more, the presence. There is a lot of text in Final Fantasy XIV. Yes, there is. I've just never had to say it out loud before. And once more, the presence of such renowned artists will raise the profile of the celebration, meaning that Am Garanji and her starlight celebrants will have even more reason to be cheerful. All that remains is for the monkey line to fulfill their part of the bargain and put together a few songs for the concert itself. Therein lies the problem. Uh-huh, okay. Were this any other performance, we could mesmerize the crowds with a few favorites from a repertoire, such as Fair Lady Return My Breaches, or Hey, Nonny Nonny Maiden Most Bonnie. <laughs> um, those sound terrible. <laughs> Fearing that such material may not be appropriate, <clears throat> we thought it best to work on some new pieces. But on this occasion, calls for traditional Shkardian music, whereas we weave our entrancing melodies in the classic Gurdanian style. To better fulfill the needs of the Starlight Celebration, we sought the aid of an Ishgardian composer. Upon taking receipt of the manuscripts, however, we found that they were written in a mixed choir. Four singers, two male, two female. It does not take a musical aficionado to appreciate that the homunculi are ill-equipped for such a performance. Yes, I think you're missing some sopranos. <clears throat> to make matters worse, there simply isn't time to have the pieces rewritten. We are well and truly out of our element, like proverbial babes in the wood. Whatever will we do? Rewritten. Now I want to make my scent to have, like, a southern accent. Be like, all this no, moping is getting us nowhere. Are you professionals or not? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> what we are, what, what we need, this is, this is or Eorzea. It's very Western European. I'm sure there's no southerners here. No, the, the southerners are in Lucis. Ah, fair enough. Final <laughs> Fantasy 15 bleeding into my 14 again. <laughs> for real? No, not for real. Not yet. But what we need are solutions and fast. First of all, let us select our vocalists. Luckily, the composer has provided instructions of the kind of voices required to carry the melody. Though I must admit, I can make neither head nor tail of these notes. <gasps> I've been a musician since fifth grade. I don't think that counts in game, though. No, I, I, that's not quite what they're looking for. Fair enough. Oh, female voices, right? One of the female voices <laughs> must be as uplifting as birdsong on a crisp winter's morning. Oh no! And the other ephemeral as a zephyr across a sun-dappled stream. For the males, reminiscent of a mighty oak's outstretched boughs and deep and cavernous as the bowels of the earth. So soprano, tenor, alto, and bass. Soprano, alto, tenor, and I got bass. this mixed I up, yes. Yeah, yeah, you did. We have to start a search somewhere, I suppose. Jackson, perhaps you can help. Can you think of anyone who possesses his voice as uplifting as birdsong on a crisp winter's morning? Yes, Geralt. Um, you know, Papucha of the Botanist Guild. Sure. Hmm, I can picture her being able to carry a tune, but wouldn't her duties as Guildmaster take priority? No, she's not very busy. She stands on a stool all day. Just looking over the garden. Thanks for the suggestion, though. I was actually planning to ask Am Garanji. I don't know what she sounds like. I'm deaf. 
Mainly because she is the person least likely to refuse. The echo works in mysterious ways. I can only hear very important people. <laughs> Not only are we silent protagonists, but we're also deaf protagonists. Yes, yes. And good news, we're also dumb. <laughs> Okay, with that settled, we should move on to our second female vocalist. Can you think of anyone with a voice as ephemeral as Zephyr across a sun dappled stream? Um. Ephemeral as a what now? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say Connie Senna, but I have no idea that that would actually. You know what? Yeah. I'm pretty sure the first <laughs> option is going to be the correct option each time. <laughs> Perfect reaction. The Elder Seed Seer herself? Have you taken leave of your senses? Generous and benevolent <laughs> she may be, but I struggle to imagine her joining our little choir group. <laughs> There's only one thing for it. I will just have to do it myself. My devotion to the monkey lion and black rabbit traders compels me. There's also the fact that I've already invested too much in this venture to allow it to fail now because money. <clears throat> my Santa, my darling, I would be honored to join my voice with yours in musical matrimony. I got the voices mixed up. That's okay. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. For all you know, I could be a dreadful singer. Fear not, my lady, for we shall be on hand to provide all the tutelage you might require. Then the question remains, which two lucky fellows will be accompanying you? Reminiscent of a mighty oak's outstretched boughs. I would say that description fits Augustine Neal's soaring vocals. I couldn't agree more. Finding someone whose voice is deep and cavernous as the palace of the earth may prove a little more challenging. The homunculi's music rarely ventures into lower notes. I think I know who that's going to be. At the risk of volunteering myself for that role too, perhaps we should put that matter to one side for now. I vote Geralt for all the roles. <laughs> or Hildebrand. He would do it. I he was going to say, you know who's usually involved in these events, don't you? Godbird? Of course <laughs> it's Godbird! How silly of me. Are we actually going to hear him sing any or say words? Because we've never heard him speak before, have we? Yes, we have. Oh, we have? Oh, yeah. I will, like, like voice? No. Like, hmm. I don't know if this is voiced. Jackson, might I be able to ask a favor of you? Two favors, actually. You know, three. Why don't we just ask for four? You're the warrior of light, after all. Keen as always. And I haven't even told you what the favors are yet. I need you to collect a conduct uh, a conductor's baton from Beaten of the Carpenter's Guild, as well as an order of choir surpluses from Redolent Rose of the Weaver's Guild in Old Dahl. After paying a visit to these master artisans, head straight to Am Karanji in Miketo's amphitheater. She'd be expecting you. In the meantime, it seems prudent for us to rehearse away from prying ears. Now make haste, Jackson. Okay, bye. <laughs> Watch your pocket money, Makoto's on. <clears throat> I'm safe for now. Okay, so Carpenter's Guild is in the main, um, main Aethernet. Main Aetherite Plaza, rather. I'm not used to all the, um, the foreign names and pronunciations of things. <laughs> they also, like, use a thesaurus or something when they're writing yes. these lines. They're like, shall we catch it? No! <laughs> Thesauruses are a little different. Hi, Beaton! Welcome back, Jackson. Are you here to show me your latest creation? N no. He asked me if I was any closer to being one with the wood. <laughs> we uh, always he need just some. Asked wood. How I could help him. <laughs> <laughs> I I take it you have done nothing carpentry with him. Nope. Perfect. <laughs> We've got a master here. We've got an apprentice. And we got a nobody. <laughs> Beaton's like, ah, look at all this fine grains of wood in front of me. <laughs> you can count the rings. Uh, since the guild seldom receives orders for such items, I thought it best to deal with this one personally. 
The maple gives us maple, really? That's like a level one craft. Gives it a certain degree of flexibility while the cork grip allows it to be held between thumb and index finger without fear of dropping it. Unless you were my music teacher in high school, in which case it would get lost sometimes <laughs> when she got very excited. I am confident that my Senta will appreciate the quality of the craftsmanship. While my services do not come cheap, she is sure to feel that her money was well spent. And spend she did. In all honesty, a simple twig would probably suffice, but nothing is too good for a monkey lie. I must admit, I do not see the appeal in those pretty, pretty boys. The sigh of a saw on wood and the tap of a hammer on chisel are all the music I need. <laughs> well beaten. We're all not that into wood like you. <laughs> I have palms on the front of my rope, and you do not. <clears throat> uh, male to female differences. Do you notice I also have a little Kikirin? Yeah, I have a little snowman. Also, my, my little satchel's on the other side. Cute. I like when there's little subtle differences like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta go to... Um... Hold on, I take us. All aboard the Rama bus! Also, I believe it's pronounced redolent. I could be wrong, though. Redolent. I'ma look it up. Redolent. It is. <laughs> Sorry. All good. It's just never really come up. I just read it in my head. Mm -hmm. Hello, redolent rose. See, it's right now. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Jackson. I trust you have not been neglecting your needlework. No, but I need stuff. The choir surpluses? Not the most challenging request the guild has received, but a welcome change from all the pleep. You know, I should probably give him a completely different voice, like, The choir surpluses? Not the most challenging request the guild has received, but a welcome change from all the plebeians asking us to add arse flaps to their collots. <laughs> are you are you amused by the arse flaps? I'm actually off screen, like waving a hand in front of my face, like. I wasn't even looking at that. Another pleasant surprise was the amount my Santa was willing to pay for them. So generous was she that I thought it only fair to include a few more. Knowing her, she will find a way to pitch them to festival goers so any surplus surpluses could be sold on for a profit. <laughs> I think I killed Rama. She is dead. <laughs> this could even mark the beginning of a very lucrative venture for Black Rabbit Traders and the Weaver's Guild. Our mutual acquaintance is undoubtedly counting the gill as we speak, so I suggest you deliver these garments to her post-haste. Best of luck with the Starlight Celebration. Ow. I shouldn't murder my wife with words. It's bad. No, you shouldn't. Okay, back to Gridania. I will port us. To the Leather Workers Guild. Um, why? No. <laughs> to the Me Keto Amphitheater. <laughs> Hola. You're back. I was considering sending out a search party for you, too. Is everything all right? You had me going all over the world, lady. The conductor's baton, meticulously crafted and exorbitantly priced, the conductor's weapon of choice offers no discernible advantages over a simple stick or even an extended finger. Okay. Order of choir surpluses. No traditional Welsh guardian choirs complete without these loose fitting garments. Some claim that the looking the part is the first step to sounding the part. Hmm. Oh no, it's silly music. Unless I am very much mistaken, these look remarkably like a conductor's wand in some sort of smocks. 
This may seem like an odd question, but why are you giving these to me? <laughs> Did I forget to tell you? Not to worry, all will become clear once you've changed your surplus and are ready to rehearse. Hello. Her with her merry band of homunculi. Rehearse? But I don't e remember agreeing to sing, and I'm s fairly certain you'd never even asked me. Sorry, dear. Change of plans. To be honest, knowing how committed you are to the Starlight Celebration, it never occurred to me you might be opposed to the idea. Ooh. Ooh. Well, we cannot disappoint the little ones. I suppose it is only meat that I at least try. Very well. I'll do it. If it makes you feel any better, I will be singing too. Bear in mind that I lack your experience when it comes to entertaining the masses. So if there's anyone who should be nervous, it's me. I don't think my scent gets nervous. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think maybe no. flustered, but I don't think she ever gets nervous. Uh, besides, there's no time for dilly-dallying. We still have to find a man with a voice deep in cavernous as the bowels of the earth. Um... <laughs> Are these the musicians? We'd better start checking the amphitheaters. What did you call them? Acoustics? No, that doesn't sound right. Gosh, it's really low. <laughs> you there. Are you one of the Starlight Celebrants? Is it Celebrant or Celebrant? <laughs> Am I getting my Lotro in my Final Fantasy? Yes, yes, yeah. Just making sure. <laughs> just making sure. I, I saw the word come up and I pronounced it celebrant. And I'm like, wait. That is another <laughs> word somewhere else. Yes. I and a member of the Adventurers Guild besides. Every year they give me leave to help out with the festival. Maybe I'll go in and like change my voice right there. Whenever he talks, he just drop it really low in pitch. <laughs> I think that's Maybe I should go back and do that on all the voices. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe like this really squeaky sound for the, the, the lady who gave us the quest. Oh, we'll gosh. see, we'll see. Remarkable. His every word reverberates to the core of my soul. Deep in cavernous as the bowels of the earth, why he's Titan incarnate. My thoughts exactly. Who could have guessed that the perfect candidate was under our noses? Figuratively speaking, of course. This whole time. How would you like to join our choir? <laughs> I don't see why not. When it comes to being big and loud, no one does it better than me. Haha, <laughs> glad to hear. While I would normally balk at sharing this stage with a rank amateurs, with rank amateurs rather, I am willing to make an exception. Obviously, none of you can even hope to reach my standards, but with sufficient practice, we should be able to approach adequate, or even not displeasing. <laughs> not displeasing. What a jerk. As for Oscar oh, Lay and Orsulfo, I have something else in mind. While you may not be seren serenading us with your angelic vocals, you will instead be blessing the children with the presents I have prepared. I'm pretty sure I butchered those names. <laughs> Oscar Lay and Orsif Orsifo? Orsifo? Orsifo, I think. It sounds close enough to me. I don't know French. You, the next line is what I was laughing at, though. I will make sure they keep your their ah. I will make sure they keep their hands off of the children's mummies, no matter how yummy they might be. If the homunculi can limit their flirtations to a well-timed wink here and a cheeky smile there, we'll have them eating out of our hands without any lasting repercussions. <sighs> <laughs> um, I have a question. Who is this conductor stick for? 
Hey, look! It's the Warrior of Light! Let's have him do everything. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> exactly! What, what do you want? <laughs> I did everything for you already. Don't do this to me. You catch on quickly, don't you? I'm not asking you to do this entirely from the goodness of your heart. I will see to it that you're pro appropriately remunerated in some, in some form. I love that there are words here that I'm like, oh, does that mean compensated? <laughs> wow. You're learning words. I'm learning words. <laughs> How to word. Eorzean edition. I would say compared to the four members of the choir, you have the easy j easy j Yeah, sure, okay, all right, whatever. I'm just leading everybody. It's fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> Judging from what I've seen at other concerts, you just need to look the part and wave at the baton a bit. Simple. I will have you all know that that is a flat lie. <laughs> I know exactly how much work goes into that. I, I was a drum major in high school. <laughs> I sit I sit here and I wonder because you know our cousin Ryan. Yeah. You know, the, oh the, no. He, he went to school. For yes, that. he did. Yep. Simple. It's so easy. You know, just normal people can do it. Even warriors of light. Oh. Rather you than me, friend. I wouldn't know where to start. I'm much more comfortable <laughs> bellowing away to me heart's content. Anyway, let me know when you're ready for some conducted. That sounds suggestive in some way. <laughs> Alright, we did Oh I didn't get three thousand experience points in the right class. Oh, it doesn't matter. Three thousand experience <laughs> is like half a mob at the levels that we're doing. Yeah. So I've heard things about this, and I know why the um, the achievement is named what it is. I have also heard things about it, so let's see how it goes. Oh, she's all kinds of dressed up now. Mm-hmm. Isn't she pretty? I must say, the thought of singing in front of everybody does make me rather nervous. But then again, they might not need be able to hear me above Banfeld. Anyway, Ban Banfeld. Oh, gosh. I hate that we have, like, 17 nationalities in this game. <laughs> okay, Bainfeld. Uh, branch rewards? A slip of parchment issued in recognition of efforts towards spreading starlight. Oh, it is going to be based on how well you do, I think. Oh, so you get two or three, depending. Okay, a concerted effort. A concert ed effort <laughs> should i ex should i explain what this is going to be to suki before we actually start no this? go for it suki are you familiar with rhythm games a little bit that's basically what this is going to be from what i hear oh okay. so i don't know exactly what it's going to be but you're going to have to hit something at like a, a specific rhythm okay and they're going to grade you apparently is what we're guessing based on the fact that there's different rewards so it should be interesting. Yeah, it should be very interesting. Ready for a bit of singing? Oh, if you're wondering where my scent has gone, she's keeping an eye on her stall. She'll be right back when it's time to get started, though. You'd think she'd have enough on her plate already, but with all that buying and selling. Good of her to find the time, and Gil, to help us a lot with the festival. Her voice ain't half bad, neither. Um, he probably says neither. He just seems like a neither kind of guy. Yeah, he does. It's hard to believe she wants someone like me to be in her choir. I don't know what the first thing about music, but best I can manage is a few sea shanties. And that's only when I'm in me cuffs. Also known as drunk. <laughs> Might as well make the most of it, I suppose. And if we're enjoying ourselves, maybe the young ones would do it too. Well, will will too. Very different. As long as they stick around long enough to get their presents, we can consider it a success. I'm pretty sure when it comes to young ones, they will stick around for presents no matter the situation. Oh, yeah. But how about you? Had a chance to practice your wand waving? If not, well, it's a bit late to start now. 
<laughs> but I'm not sure you'll pick it up as we go along. Hey, the best way to learn how to conduct a, an orchestra is by doing it for your first time when you perform. Oh, it's, it's uh, there's a difficulty setting. That's what it is. It looks like we've already got a few people lined up to watch the show. You can see the Starlight Celebrants herding them together just over yonder. I'd watch out for that enthusiastic looking last over there, though. She's been telling folk about the most lauded musicians the realm has ever known. And they seem to be lapping it up. I appreciate her drumming up the crowd like that, but I think their expectations might be a little too high. What with this being our first performance? It might be an idea to start with the other lot. They seem less like to take offense to a flat note or two. Once we're feeling confident, we can take a crack at something trickier. But you're the conductor, so you get final saves to what we sing and when. Well, there's no time like the present. Let one of the Starlight Celebrants know when you're ready to begin. Okay. That's why it's branching rewards. One of them is easier. So having a kitty on my one? desk. Splendiferous sounds a lot fancier than Saturnine. Or Saturnine. Yeah. Okay. Also, everybody's clustered around that one, so I'm going to guess they're farming. Boop. 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 I need you to get down. I'm going to be right back, guys. I'm going to grab some water and hopefully get the cat off the desk. Yeah. This is the easy one. Are you sure? <laughs> yep. Finish your prep. Eh, I don't know if you're going to read this. Okay. Sounds good. To attempt the capriccio. Okay. That's the harder one. Right. It's probably faster. I shall attempt it. With a blue prompt appears left, you remember to the left and an orange prompt appears right, makes several rapid inputs until the prompt disappears. Okay. Left click and right click anywhere. Oh, okay. Any standard unmodified key. Chat is temporarily disabled. This is going to be interesting. Okay. There we go. Dancing by starlight! <laughs> Sorry. Dancing in starlight celebration. Look at us going on stage all stiff. We're like, yeah, hi everybody. We, we've practiced a lot. I promise. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's an Ishgardian choir. It's very solemn. I'm glad I wore this. Wow, that was a lot more difficult than I expected it to be. Yeah, it was. It was fun, though. Okay, now that I know what I'm doing... My score was 62,200. My score was not. I, I, I don't remember. Oh, I'm Phew, the singing lark's harder than it looks. Good thing we had to keep we had you to keep us in time. Of course we'll be putting on more shows all the way to the end of the Starlight Celebration. I think we'll be able to put up uh, put on a fairly convincing performance, even without a conductor. But if you've got time to spare, why not join us for another sing song? Oh, and another thing. I think Omgoranji's wanted to say something to you. Probably wanted to say thank you 
for someone. Great! Let's do it again. No, we're not going to do it again. <laughs> I'm going to finish this recording and then we can go back and do it afterwards. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the... Uh, the... Grithdanium. Theodrithdanium. Ow! Oh! oh it's oh, rhythm! Geez. Theater rhythm mixed in with Gridania. That's ridiculous. Theodrithdanium. Theodrithdanium. Okay, I got it. Theodrithdanium. <laughs> that was wrong. Oh well. Three. Theodrithdanium. Theod. Dorian. Three Gobbistopagis. Because the achievement is Theodgrithdanium Curtain. Ah, I Did see, it? because of the game. Theater Rhythm Curtain. Right. Okay. That was incredible. Considering that only Augustiniel has any real experience, it's hard to believe we were able to keep up with him. Of course, your conducting is what made it all possible. We would have been lost without you. As planned, Oscar Le and Orsulfo are handing out the presents. It truly is a marvel to see so many children arriving to collect gifts, but I do wish the monkey light would pay more attention to the younglings and a little less to their mothers. <sighs> Still, they are doing ever such a good job. I'm sure the mothers don't mind. <laughs> what? No more presents! Is this where Godbert shows up? It better be when Godbert shows up. Oh no. This is what happens when you give all the presents to the moms. <laughs> I'm dreadfully sorry, little ones. Unfortunately, the Santa Nemea has not blessed us with quite the right number of gifts. We never expected the choral performance to be so popular. Had we known, we would have prayed for a few more parcels. Oh no, whatever shall we do? There must be something we can give them. We can give them happiness. Quick, grab my baton. Oh no. Oh. The saint knows I've been bad. That's why I can't have a present. Oh no, that's not how it works. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Him and his thighs of Christmas beauty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ho, ho, ho. Fear not, all ye faithful. The saint of Nemea has heard your prayers. Rejoice, for I am come bearing gifts. Hearken one, hearken all, for a bevy of festive treats. Oh, it's every good boy and girl. All oh, courtesy of Mandrafam! <clears throat> My little helpers. Now, who has been good this year? <laughs> me! Me! I've been on my bestest behavior! Oh, this is so adorable. I love this part of this event. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise! Your rival is timely indeed. Ho ho ho! Think nothing of it. The Saint of Nemea lives only to bring joy to the realm. But did I perchance see a young girl with tears in her eyes? Verily, my work here cannot be considered complete until that sweet child is smiling once more. <laughs> my character's face! I love it! Although I'm not sure if he's just like in shock again or sad. <laughs> Yes, I could not agree more. She was beside herself when she heard there was no present for her. I think she blames herself for some reason. We must find her without delay. Although I get the impression the sight of a member of the festival staff would be rather upsetting for her. At least until she has a chance to calm down. So Jackson, Warrior of Light! Please, please go do more things. <laughs> Thank you. She can't have gone far, but keep her eyes peeled. Gridania is full of little nooks and crannies, perfect for hiding. And with that, I must depart, for I still have many parcels to deliver in so little time. May the blessing of Nemea be upon each and every one of you. Ho ho ho! 
Hi, Godbert. Bye, Godbert. He is my favorite. This is my favorite part of these events is when he shows up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, so we need to go find this kiddo. Hey, Sipkin. He taught me how to play music. Hmm. Yeah, well, let's see. Oh, that was it in this area. Okay. Oh, we have to go to New Gridania now. Boo. Hey, you're not red no more. <laughs> Sorry. What? Oh. You did a thing. I did a thing while you were still in the cutscene. Well, the one guy was wearing a blue one, and I was like, huh, I wonder if I can die. So I did. <laughs> and now we are Christmas colors. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, it's not a tree. It's Rama. <laughs> Besides, I think the green goes with my skin tone better anyway. Off to the adder's nest. Put the red bread out the red in your hair. Fair point. But, yeah. It works because your skin's red and your dress is green. That works. Oh wait, where am I going? He is flying. Hello, Gavin. Such a normal name. Yeah. <laughs> With all the French and and what what is it? It's um, it's not Swedish. It's um, oh, what is it? Well, he's a Huron. No, no, no. Well, yeah, it's true. That is true. He is just Gavin. Most of the most of the French names are for um. The um, yeah, Elizabeth. But um, uh, but isn't the um, the Rogadin like is it Dutch? I'm thinking. Nord maybe? Uh, Nordic. Nordic, maybe. Yeah, I think Nordic's yeah. the word. <laughs> yeah, their names have more consonants than should ever be allowed in a name. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay, so we're off to go find him with the kiddos. This is such a cool little area. Mm -hmm. They're putting one in at the uh, the um, embassy. Not the embassy. What is it called? <laughs> at the school. Enclave. Yeah. Hey. Oh, I haven't heard this music in a while. <laughs> it's thick wavy. <laughs> I know you. You're the stick wavy man from the concert. Are you cross with me? <laughs> oh no. I am the stick wavy man. That is certainly my official title. <laughs> oh, good. That's why I got no present, because I was naughty. Oh, why were you naughty, little girl? It's just me and Daddy. He's a wood whaler, but he's always busy. He only comes home at night when I'm asleep. Oh my gosh! This is really sad! <laughs> but today he wasn't busy, so he went to the market. I said I wanted a flower hairpin. But he said, next time. What is next time? Maybe there is no next time. He's always too busy. So I said, I hate you. And then I ran away. Oh, it's a little too real right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I saw the concert. I want to hear the music, so I went there by myself. You know what? There's an easy solution to this. I bet you I need to go find her father. Yep, probably. But then I didn't get a present. Because I said I hate you to Daddy and ran off. Mm, think, Jax, what can you do to this? Oh, it's not your fault, child. I am to blame. Oh, she's dressed up. I know you. You're a singer. 
<laughs> Not quite. Thinking me as one of the saint's little helpers. She's really cute in that getup. <laughs> that's the same. That's the same robe. Yeah. He's not the not as scary looking. Kind of scary <laughs> looking. <laughs> not as not scary as scary looking. looking. Yeah, that's true. She's wearing a lot less leather. <laughs> he is not the only one who gives presents. I brought the one too, just for you. Now hold still and close your eyes. Oh. Ah, the hairpin. Just what I always wanted. But how did you know? Because her father was shopping for it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> a certain someone gave this to me to look after. He told me you had been standing in front of Black Rabbit Trader staring at all day. That somebody else asked me to hold on to it as a present for the Starlight Celebration. Which is why when you asked him to buy it for you, he said next time. He didn't want you to know he had already bought it. Oh, it's so adorable. And that is why you do not go shopping for yourself in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. No. <laughs> Touche. I'm just saying. In general. <laughs> so that means... Yes, that's right. Now why don't you run along and find him? <laughs> Gridani is only like seven miles in the uh, squared area. I'm sure you'll find him in no time. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's just kind of weird. Go find your dad. It'll be fine. Just run off. Go look. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you, Saints Little Helper. Thank you, Stick Wavy Man. That is <laughs> that is my new official title, and I am going to cling to that. Please remind me the next time we play that I make sure that I will correct people. Oh, it's the Warrior of Light. Uh, nope. Stick Wavy Man. <laughs> Thank you, Saints Little Helpers. <laughs> oh, I already said this. Alright, good. You better say sorry. Yeah, there she goes. Oh, my Senta. You're so nice when you want to be. <sighs> Whoever thought doing good deeds could be so tiring. It costs a lot. It. Yeah, I'll just stop. You should have seen the way she was milling about near this, my stall, day after day, staring at my floral hairpins, and the way she'd be talking with one of the wood whalers with that pleading look in her eyes. I suspected I'd found a customer. Sure enough, he came over one day and asked me which of my wares the girl had been looking at. He bought it and requested that I keep it safe until the Starlight Celebration, no doubt to hide it from his daughter. Imagine my surprise when he came by asking not for the hairpin for his little girl. <laughs> He'd been desperately searching for her after she ran off. And now they're both desperately searching for each other. I couldn't very well leave him <laughs> to search for her on his own. It's certainly not on a day such as this. I am one of Saint's little helpers, after all. Uh, my character doesn't look convinced. Yes, you heard me correctly. Is it so surprising I can get into the festive spirit? Besides, if I treat them with kindness now, her father may be inclined to buy more of her presents in the future. Why, she might come become a paying customer herself when she has money of her own to spend. That is the key to good business. Plant the seeds and watch them grow. And to be honest, I underestimated how many presents we would need for the concert. It's a good thing I had a hairpin from her father to hand. Yeah. You're not a crazy lady. All the time. Of course, I have you to thank for tracking her down. You're an awful lot easier to find than a wayward child. Because I'm blue, isn't it? It's because I'm blue. <laughs> Come to think of it, Amgar and Chi would be relieved to hear this little incident has come to a satisfactory conclusion. Would you be so kind as to put her mind at ease? I suppose. On the other hand, I have a more, rather more pressing engagement. I simply must change out of this unflattering costume. Although I suspect I may have to wear it again before the festival comes to a close, because I'm going to be doing my stick waving. Well then, <laughs> hot off for now. I'm the stick waving man. Tis I, Jackson, of the stick waving. Oh, hello, Gil Seller. That's rare. I reported him. Report. I know we have paw prints on our house already, 
but snowflakes. We should snowflakes. put up snowflake. Sure. Thanks for the help, Gavin. I see you around. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a bunny foo foo over there. Yeah, I saw oh her. Lollafell? Uh, I'm not sure, but how much do you want to bet that they'll change to a VR? I was, I was actually thinking that. It is a Lollafell. Of course it is. Only the really cutesy yes. games are Lollafells. It's it's a Lollafell Marauder dressed as a Chocobo. Um, okay. That sounds like someone just pushed random on the character creator. <laughs> and she has a fat cat. Well, yeah. Oh, I lost people. Where did everybody go? <laughs> to the either right plaza. We're coming, we're coming. We were looking at Bunny Foo Foo. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so, did you find her? Indeed I did. I am the stick wavy man. My, my Miss Senta, she never ceases to amaze me. I suppose she can add cheering up crying children to her lengthy list of talents. Then you seem to have quite the knack for finding a missing persons. I dare say that comes in handy from time to time. Yeah, it does. Especially for side quests. Anyway, I hope you will be spared any uh, similar misadventures for the rest of the festival. This is supposed to be a happy occasion after all. If it gives even one young reason to be upset, it will have been all uh, it would have all been for naught. But now that's over, and we can go back to enjoying the Starlight Celebration. I know you've already done more than enough to help us, but if you fancy leading the choir again, the Starlight Celebrants would, and I would absolutely be thrilled. Except that's not the order of words. It's okay. We are still inundated with visitors from far and wide, all clamoring for a chance to experience an authentic yet unique Ishgardian music spectacle and receive a gift from the saint. And here's one for you. Yay! I got a stuff. While well, I suspect that the person's uh, uh, presence may be somewhat more enticing than our singing, I can say without a shadow of a doubt, a shadow bringer of a doubt, the whole enterprise has been a roaring s success. Yay, we did his stuff. Now I can dress up. You already dressed up. Now I can dress up more. My character looks very grumpy about singing in the choir. Yeah, I don't think I'm a huge fan of it, actually. I wonder how it dies. Wasn't there a hat? Yeah, there was. Where is the hat? I don't know, you lost it. I did! I lost my hat! I mean, it's cute. Actually, you know, this hat goes really well. Yeah, I like this, actually. It does look cute. The detailing is really pretty. I don't know if I like the cut, though. Okay. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go visit the, um, the trade-in area, and we'll see what's going on here. Oh, keep on straight ah, here we go. No, there's stuff to get. Oh no. Oh, we gotta play this a few times. Okay, because we need to have open twinkle boxes. We need the snowman. We need the sentinel. We need the donuts. We need the orchestrion roll. <sighs> we need everything. We need everything. All right, and there you have it. That was the Starlight Festival. With Final Fantasy XIV, I had a lot of fun. Uh, a little more interactive this year than most. Uh, in fact, this followed up the uh, the Halloween event, All Saints Week, really, really well. All Saints Week was awesome with all its mini side quests and whatnot. Uh, but this time we've got a uh, basically a rhythm game, which is fantastically timed because uh, Rom and I are currently playing through uh, Persona 3 and 5 uh, Dancing in Blank depending on the game title. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Oh, 
there's the lady. But she's looking at other things. She's got her back to the screen. There she is. She's waving to the camera. But she has no idea where the camera is. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, what the uh, Starlight Festival had for us. Um, hopefully this gives you an idea as to what some more of what Final Fantasy XIV is like. If you have played Final Fantasy XIV in the past, why don't you go ahead and drop a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think about how things look now. Now, if you're currently playing, how did you enjoy the festival? Let us know. I would love to hear feedback. Start a dialogue. That'd be awesome. So, thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Take care, and I will catch you later. So, here we have some... Open twinkle boxes used to be the, uh, the presents, but they've been opened. We've also got a small collection of starlight donuts. They look delicious. I see some greenfield ones and a little lantern guy, a little light source. It's adorable. Can't wait to put it somewhere. And the big one, the silver starlight sentinel. And it's really pretty, especially with the little good, the little guys on it. Oh, it's so cool. All right, so that's it for everything. That's all we got from it. So this has been Jack's happy Starlight Celebration, and I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. <laughs>